Welcome back. In earlier section, we had learned how to create a test case, generate the report, package our application and archive the artifacts for Maven Best project. Hi, I'm Robin Gotham. I'm AWS certified cloud DevOps engineer. And in today's lesson, we are going to learn a couple of new things. So we are going to deploy our application using two approaches using docker without using docker to new target instance let's get started with some basic theories regarding docker and docker hub so docker is a tool that helps you to create the containers containers are the isolated groups of runtime environment of an image Image contains of the file system, it's roughly equivalent to the snapshot in other virtual environment. And Docker Hub is cloud-based repository to test, store, and distribute the container image. So in this lesson, we are going to start deploying of our application using Docker. So before that, make sure you create an account using hub.docker.com. So I have my account already created over here. If you haven't created one, please go ahead and create. So let me go to my node over here and over OPT directory, when you see over here, I am inside OPT CI CD integration directory. So since we had already cloned our repository in this directory, let's go over OPT CI CD integration and we can list out that we have our docker ec2.ess file over here. Let's go ahead and run that script. So over here, you can see it's asking for Docker Hub user ID. So my user ID is rbnztm1. Please verify that the user ID that you have is specified on Docker Hub should exactly match over here. So it's asking for Docker Hub password. I'm going to enter my Docker Hub password and you can see login succeeded. And you can verify that Docker is installed successfully using Docker version command. If you see something like client and server over here, you have installed Docker successfully. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Over here, let me add one more stage. Let's call this stage deployment of application using Docker. here try catch block let me include try block over here let me include docker version to see if docker got installed successfully so let me do docker build minus t which i am tagging this is my username rbnztm1 and the name that I want to give to my archive artifacts to my repo is archive artifacts and let me use a tag named new tag for instance and let's say here I have docker file in case I had different docker file to specify for instance if I had docker file the dev docker file dot prod I could specify with something like this minus f docker file so this searches for this file which file do i want to run from and docker build is basically building this docker file so when we move over this docker file what i have done over here is you can see i have used the tomcat 8.5.16 jre8 alpine version and I have copied the address book main target address book.war to 
this web apps directory inside my container and with this I have run my Tomcat as a service inside my container so this is basically what our docker file is doing so moving back to um, this copy section remember the copy section always specifies copy from the host to the directory inside your container so that's what we are doing here so moving back over to our Jenkins file so let's include another stays saying docker run minus p where I'm specifying the port 8080 colon 8080 so what I'm saying here is docker run minus p port which specifies per port and here I have included anything for host port match the port inside container port 8080 so here I will do minus D which is detached mode um, and I'm going to use basically the same repository name over here so after this stays let's go ahead and push to our docker registry so for that we need to go to the pipeline syntax so inside pipeline let me go to pipeline syntax over here let me select docker registry you can see there is an option called with docker registry over here and here you can add a credentials and for username let me use my docker hub username and for password let me use my docker hub password and over here id i'm going to use docker hub registry and the same thing over here and i'll add it and let me select that docker hub registry over here and let me generate a pipeline script and you are going to see something like this so let me copy this section and paste it over to our visual studio code here so here in this sum block we are going to use docker push command to push to our docker hub so i'm going to do docker push for this tag Note that I don't have catch block over here, so let me add the catch block over here. And let me include something like echo error in deployment using Docker, for instance. And remember, when we are using Docker build command, we need to specify dot over here. so after we are done with this let me save this thing and let me add it commit this change and push it to my feature branch so after I'm done with pushing to my feature branch let me build now So you can see our locks over here and these all steps are executed successfully and when you go over to docker hub and repositories you can see our archive artifacts repository has just been generated a few seconds ago. So now let's go to our node and let us see docker images. Let me make this little bigger and let me run this command again. So here inside repositories I can see out of Tomcat image I have generated RBNZTM1 archive artifacts repository. So let me use docker ps in order to see the container ID.
you can see I have container ID over here so let me copy that container ID let me do docker exec minus it for that container ID and let me do bean bash and it brings me inside that container and you can see in this directory we must have our address book to war over there so when we copy this and when we go over that user local tomcat web apps directory you can see we have address book war so the next thing we want to do is if our application is visible within this IP address. So here let me copy the public IP to the browser and enter port 8080 and do slash address book. You can see our application is successfully deployed. So here we have our application which is deployed inside our container. I hope you enjoyed this video. In next video we'll discuss how to send those artifacts to S3. Thank you.